Let's move on to a man who's going to have a lot to say, I'm sure, about what Hillary had to say today. We welcome in Al Baldassaro. He's a New Hampshire state representative, retired U.S. Marine of 22 years, and a big Donald Trump supporter. Hello, sir. Uh, how are you? It's an honor to be on with, with a fellow Marine. Well, I, I'm having a little trouble uh, hearing what you said, but uh, but let, let me ask you: respond to what? What was your reaction to what uh, to Hillary's speech today, sir? You know, after the listen to that speech that you gave today, you remind me of James Bond. Though. I believe that her and her are on the same class uh, there. As a, an embarrassment, as a father who has a son in the Marine Corps, I would never ever in a million years want her to be the commander in chief. After what happened to Benghazi, I would be scared that something would happen to my son. All right, all right. Al, 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 I hate to do this to you. We're having some technical problems. We're going to call you back and, and, and get you on the telephone. So hang on, and we're going to try to reestablish with uh, Al Baldessaro. Uh, let me tell you that coming up later in the show, we're going to have John Sununu, former governor of New Hampshire, former chief of staff to George H.W. Bush. He will uh, weigh in on what Hillary had to say and more. And of course, your phone calls, as is always the case here on Newsmax Television and the Steve Malzberg Show, 877-NEWSMAX, 877-639-7629. Uh, some very interesting revelations. Uh, you know, there's, there's this group out there called Color of Change. They're a pack, Color of Change. And they are among groups that are trying to talk corporations out of sponsoring the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. And they're succeeding. There are corporations now who say they will not sponsor, they will not be involved with the Republican National uh, co Convention. And I think it's a shame because when these groups are pressured, when these stores and corporations are pressured by a small group of people who don't represent the majority of Americans and they capitulate, we, the majority, have to take note of who those corporations and stores, et cetera, and businesses are and threaten back, make our position known that if you don't do it, then there'll be repercussions from us. But we don't do that. All right. Al is back. Al Baldessaro, New Hampshire State Representative, retired U.S. Marine of 22 years, big to our support of Donald Trump. Sorry about that, uh, 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 Al. Again, oh, your, no your, your take on uh, Hillary's uh, speech today. Well, after listening to Hillary's speech, I mean, it's a disgrace. As a father of Marine, somebody who went to Desert Storm, my son went to war. I would never in a million years wanted that Jane Fonda type of person be my son's commander in chief. She's a disgrace. The, she has the blood on her hands of Benghazi. If one email was stuck on a veteran's uh, phone that was classified to be in jail, who is she to be calling Donald Trump a liar? That is a hypocrite. You said Jane Fonda, uh, and I think when we had you before and you tried, you started, the first thing you said was, I think, I don't want to put words in your mouth, that she reminded you of Jane Fonda up there, correct? Yes, she has, because she's all about herself and all about the enemy. They're taking care of illegals, refugees, uh, rather than putting America first. I've got no confidence whatsoever in her as a commander-in-chief, and, you know, that's going to be in charge of my son and many other mothers and fathers, children that serve our great country. Do you think she opens herself up here? I mean, what you're saying is, is I think, is, is absolutely very fair. Um, Benghazi, uh, for instance, Benghazi and lying, according to the, the family members, when the caskets came home, she lied to them, looked them in the eye, said it's the video. She denies that she said that, um, and not to mention the, the emails, as you pointed out, and, and, and uh, the missing emails and the not cooperating with the investigation at the State Department. Do you think that Donald Trump is going to be able to take full advantage of the opening she may just have given him by this speech? There is no doubt in my mind, Donald Trump is a teller like it is. I've had the opportunity to sit with him many times. He's an honorable guy. He really cares about our country. He, you know, he said, I've made so much, I want to give back now. And he, he's going from the heart and wants to make a real difference in our country. He cares about all Americans. Hillary Clinton only cares about a pocketbook. What about the media? You've been very critical 
rightfully so in my view, of the media. I mean, just watching CNN, for instance, after the speech uh, between Brooke Baldwin and Wolf Blitzer, you would have thought they were on the payroll defending her uh, against any, 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 you know, Ari Fleischer was on, taking Ari Fleischer to test for him criticizing her. Um, it, it just is, it's outrageous how, what, what, how they come to her defense. You know, uh, the, the media today is all yellow journalism. And like Donald Trump said, not all are bad. They're out of control. They're all worried about selling advertising, getting the big story, stretching the truth, not being honest about people, destroying people's lives. Where are the real issues that you should be talking about? I'm so disgusted over the liberal media, and I'm just so glad that Donald Trump is bringing it out, and people are listening. It's resonating. They understand. They know what's going on. The people aren't uh, dummies. Right. No. They, they watch what's going on. All right. Let's uh, Al, let's get to a couple of phone calls if we can here at eight seven seven Newsmax. George is in Batavia, Illinois. Good. Hello, George. Good to talk to you again. Hi, Steve. How are you? Good. Love your show, big time. Thank you. Oh yeah. You know, Donald Trump. He loves the military. I believe he really loves the cops, and, and he wants to help that. You do not hear any on the left talking about this. They just disregard it. Our illegals are treated better than the veterans who come home. It just, it's just incomprehensible. I just don't understand this. He has, to keep, he has to keep talking about the military. He has to keep talking about Benghazi. Any chance, Benghazi, Benghazi. She's evil, she's corrupt, and that's true. She only cares about herself. Al? No, what was the question there on that? Well, there was I no mean, question. You, <laughs> you want okay. to weigh in okay. on what he I said? Can, yeah, yeah I, I can weigh in. I mean, if you take a look at what she's done over the years there, how does somebody that's had a government job, her and her husband, have over $200 million in the bank? How does somebody like that go to, into a family and tell them that it was about a movie, uh, that, that why give the reasons uh, to lie to the families in Benghazi? She is a disgrace. I'm shocked that any military person uh, would ever support her. One of the guys that were protesting Donald Trump was a conscientious objector. A couple others were Bernie supporters. Another were Hillary supporter. I talked to them guys. And I know they mean well, but they went to Columbia University, and right. I believe they went brain dead. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you, George. Let's try to squeeze in Joe from Bergen County in New Jersey. Hello, Joe. Yeah, hi, Steve. Enjoy your show. Thank and you. I want to thank you, guest, for his service. Uh, Steve, you. I just want to give you my analogy of this. If we, if we were, if I had to go to the emergency room and there were three doctors, Dr. Clinton, Sanders, and Dr. Trump, they're going to announce that we have a white male, mid 60s. Dr. Clinton, oh, no, he's not one of, I can't help him. He's not one of my constituents. And Dr. Uh, Sanders said, oh, no, he's not a millennial. I'm not helping him. So it comes down to Trump would be the only one looking out for us. I'm right. sorry, but that's just. That's Joe, just, fair yeah. enough. Sorry, so short. Well, Al, you know, a pleasure and an honor. Al, Al, a pleasure and an honor speaking to you, sir. Thank you very much. Well, same here. Simplify. You too, sir. Take care. John Sununu joins us next. And more of your calls don't go away.